Weathering, Science 5, Quarter 4, Week 1. Enabling competency, communicate the data collected from the investigation on the soil erosion. Most essential learning competency, describe how rocks turn into soil. Again, our today's topic, weathering and soil erosion shape the earth's surface and affect living things and the environment. Earth is mainly composed of rocks that differ in terms of sizes, shapes, and colors. Though rocks seem to be very hard, dense, and indestructible, they still break. Rocks are broken down into smaller pieces by the effects of weather. These pieces do not move to a new location. They simply break down but remain next to one another. The breaking of rocks into fragments is known as wet. Weathering is an important process that helps shape the earth's surface. The breaking of rocks result in the formation of soil and different landforms. This is also the reason why we have amazing rock formations. Weathering can either be mechanical or chemical. Mechanical weathering is a physical wearing away of rocks without any change in their chemical nature. While chemical weathering involves change in the composition of rocks that allow them to break down into pieces. There are agents of weathering and these are some. We have first water. Water can break rocks into different ways. The strong waves that seep into the cracks of rocks can make them break. When it gets colder, this water can expand and turn into ice which can trigger rocks to break as well. Next is wind. Wind is another agent of weathering that causes beautiful formations like the, Hawa the Mahayaw Arc in Sabtang Island, Batanes, Philippines. As the wind blows, it carries sand or small rocks particle or small rock particles that scratch the rock's surface. This can bring about mechanical weathering which can also result to different rock formation. We have also temperature. When rocks are exposed to varying temperature, it expands. If rocks are exposed to a low temperature, it contracts. The repeated expansion and contraction of rocks due to changes in temperature result in weathering. We also have plants. Some plants like lichens, Ferns and mosses can also trigger weathering. It can grow on rocks and cause them to break into pieces. Eventually, metabolic or life process of these plants will cause the gradual break breakage of rocks into smaller pieces. We also have animals. Animals that live underground also contribute to weathering. As burrowing animals dig deeper, they cause rocks to break into pieces. We also have humans. Humans also contribute to the weathering of rocks. Subdivision developers use bulldozers to flatten mountains and hills or hills to build houses. Some construction workers use jackhammer to break borders of rocks as they repair roads. Mining companies extract stones or rocks from a quarry or an open pit mine. Some miners throw dynamites and other explosives on quarry sites to get more rocks or stones, which can trigger landslide. For our first learning task, or the activity that you are going to perform will clearly explain weathering through communicating the data collected from the investigation of the soil erosion. And you need to, pre to prepare the following materials. You need two small pans, six cups of garden soil, two bottles of 500 ml water. Procedures. Get two small pans and fill them with garden soil. And label one pan as A and other as B. Pour water gradually in the soil on the first pan and what happened to the soil. Describe the movement of the soil. Number three. Repeat procedure number two on the second pan, then this time pour the water rapidly into the soil. What happened? 
Compare the difference in terms of the movement of the soil from the first one. And record the time and measure your observations. And let us watch the video about that activity. Now, let us answer some questions. Number one, based on your observation in which setup did the soil move faster and why? Number two, based on your observ observation in which setup did the soil move farther and why? And number three, based on your observation which setup moved more soil and why? And for number four, as you observed, what happened to the color of the water? And number five, based on the data collected in this experiment, what can you conclude about soil erosion? And these are the answers. For number one, set up D because the water that was poured to the soil was done rapidly. For number two, set up B again because the water that was poured to the soil was done rapidly. And number three, set up B because more soil was moved. And number four, the color of the water became brown. And number five, soil erosion is a washing or blowing away of top layer of soil. For the second activity or experiment entitled Showing Wind Erosion, you need the following materials, one cup of fine sand, hard cardboard, and paper plate. Procedures. Pour one cup of fine sand on paper plate. Slowly fan the sand on the paper plate using the hard cardboard turn. Next, fan the sand a bit faster. What happens? And try different speed of fanning. Draw what shape forms each time you change the speed. And answer the question as you observe how does the speed of fanning affect the shape of the sand form. And let us watch the video about that experiment or activity. This is the answer to the question we have earlier. The sand was carried or moved accordingly or based on the speed of fanning or wind blowing through it. For learning task number three, use a Venn diagram to compare and contrast mechanical and chemical weathering. And this is the correct answer. Mechanical weathering is a physical wearing away of rocks without any change in their chemical nature, while chemical weathering involves change in the composition of rocks that allow them to break down into pieces. But both of them are process of breaking of rocks that result in the formation of soil and different and different plant forms. For learning test number four, identify the change happening in each situation on the space provided before each number. Draw a heart ice emoji if the change is an example of mechanical weathering and wow emoji if it is an example of chemical weathering. For number one, a boulder of shore is slowly broken apart by the force of water. Number, th number two, earthworm makes tunnels in the ground which may lead to the breakdown of stones and rocks. Number three, some plants release chemicals which loosen the rocks and cause them to break. Number four, Water inside the rocks freezes and melts again. And number five, the chemical composition of rocks changes when acid is produced by the roots of some plants. And these are the correct answers. For number one, heart emoji. Two, wow emoji. Three, wow emoji. Four, heart emoji. And five, wow emoji. For number six, Min minerals in rocks dissolve. Number seven, three roots can grow into rocks and break rock apart. Number eight, as the wind blows, it carries sand or small rock particles that scratch the rock's surface. Number nine, as the rocks expand, the cracks become deeper and new rocks are produced. 
And number 10, rocks exposed to the intense heat of the sun crop and crumble, and crumble when rain falls or so in the ground. And these are the correct answers. For number 6, wow emoji, 7 heart emoji, 8 heart emoji, 9 heart emoji, and 10 wow emoji. For learning task number 5, describe how rocks turn into soil in the following pictures below. Write your descriptions on the space provided beside each picture. For number 1, we have plants. Some plants can figure readily. It can grow on rocks and cause them to break into pieces. Number two, mining or miners. Some miners throw dynamites and other explosives on party sites to get more rocks or stone. For number three, we have water. The strong waves that seep into the cracks of rocks can make them break. And for learning task number 6, read each question carefully and encircle the letter that corresponds to the correct answer. Number 1, it is the breaking of rocks into fragments. A. Erosion. B. Flooding. C. Weathering. Or B. Runoff. Number 2, a type of weathering that involves change in the composition of the rock. A. Chemical, B. Both chemical and mechanical, C. Mechanical, or D. Electrical. Number 3. It is open pit mine where rocks can be extracted. Letter A. Landfill, B. Reservoir, Letter C. Open, open field, or Letter D. Quarry. And these are the correct answer for number 1, C, number 2, A, and number 3, D. For number 4, which of the following tends to cause physical or mechanical weathering? Letter A, animals burrow in the ground. Letter B, roots of plants grow into the cracks in the rocks. Letter C, water that seeps into the pores and cracks off rocks. Or letter D, all of these are all of the choices. For number 5, what will happen to a rock when it is exposed to higher temperature? Letter A, contacts, B, evaporates, letter C, expands, or letter D, sim. And these are the correct answers. For number 4, letter B, and number 5, letter C. To summarize our lesson, again, weathering is an important process that helps shape the Earth's surface. It is the breaking down of rocks into fragments. Mechanical weathering is the physical wearing away of rocks, while chemical weathering involves a change in the composition of rocks that allow them to break into pieces. The different agents of weathering include water, wind, temperature, plants, animals, and people. They cause rocks to break into pieces. For our last learning task, number 6, matching type. Match the definition in column A with the concept in column B. Write the letter of your answer on the space provided before each number. Number 1. It happens when rocks are exposed to a low temperature. Number 2. A type of weathering characterizes by physical bearing of rocks. Number 3. As agent of weathering, they dig deeper, causing rocks to break into pieces. Number 4. As it blows, it carries sand or small rock particles to scratch the rock's surface. And number 5. The process by which human extracts stones from mountains. And for column B, letter A contracts, letter B burrowing animals, letter C chemicals, letter D physical, letter E wind, or letter F warming. And these are the correct answers. 1A, 2D, 3B, 4E, and 5F. And that concludes our lesson for week 1, Science 5, quarter 4. Thanks for listening and happy learning. Bye-bye.